shit. Another big ass mess on my property? Chop, I gotta train you to shit on the neighbor's yard. Why is that car there? There we go, took a while. Got there. <laughs> Nearly. Why you keep calling me? What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberry so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Get this money.
over at the usual place. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. Just in case. <laughs> no one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. My favorite gang members. That's teamwork, motherfucker. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway. Pass Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. Jesus. Your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. It's like seven miles, over seven miles to go, even in-game. Hey, That's going to take that ages. Dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired? From, from creeping. From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Of all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, uh, he lied to me. <laughs> I am some bitch. Fuck off with your spam, you fucking daft cunts. Dickheads. Not anyone's gonna Let ever click any of them li years. links, you fucking idiots. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was, I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen. When actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's 
a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rods. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? <laughs> no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. <laughs> right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? <laughs> What's What you got in there? Screw you. <laughs> That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. <laughs> the turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? <laughs> Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. A tiny operation. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? We have reason to believe you were three or stolen vehicles. Man, this ain't hood.
change the camera every time. Hello. Hi, it's Frank. Franklin Clint. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm, we got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, uh, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Drive all the way back down there. Everything is closer. Nope, he's not. <laughs> Lester Crest! I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that, but if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem, too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on forum. Something for me and I always give Oh, so we're driving back. I need to have my own car.
Okay, yeah. Take it easy. I got you. Where's my car just gone? There's got to be a hospital near here somewhere. No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can... <laughs> my bad. Wow, he's dead. Fuck, what time is it? <laughs> I got to watch my own reaction on Twitch. <laughs> I have got Twitch open, you know. Y'all can chat. Nobody talking tonight, man. Shit's quiet. So lonely. Oh, all right then. Quick save me. Auto save me and I spawn somewhere else. Oh, wow. Hold on a minute. Mm. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the... Shouldn't have given the truck. Payment, dog. Huh. Um, let's see, his phone is offline, his credit cards aren't active, this is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now, nothing. Damn, is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Shit! Ah! Okay, getting the car hit. Gucci Mane! We don't do Gucci. Yo, there's row. Been a while, man. Been a while. We are women. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. Hear our pain. We are women. Hear our shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut women. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 Is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What? Oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, oh, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I <laughs> made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... 
Let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah, but, ah, right? Yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha! Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck, I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! <laughs> Assholes! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you, he ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Where's your humanity? I remember this. It's fuck. Ah, I'm sure it's round here. Like, like, uh, I'm gonna head this direction anyway. How are the achievements going? Good question. <laughs> nah, shit's going alright, really. Uh, I can't remember what. I, man, it's been so long, I can't remember what I was last yapping about. I know the last thing I streamed on my own channel was the Final Fantasy demo. Because uh, I didn't want to start any more Xbox One games until I hit a certain completion percentage. I did hit that percentage. I think that was with. I hit 95% playing Lost Planet 3, so I treated myself and started this. GTA 5 on Xbox One. Um, but yeah, no, it's been going good. I'm still on a um, achievement streak on true achievements. I think I'm on 115 days now. Hey, he's in there somewhere. How you get in? I said I'd call it a day at 100. 100 days, but um, managed to keep it going. So, yeah, I've been playing Lost Planet 3, smashed all the single player stuff in that, just got a bit of boosting to do. Uh, started playing Section 8 Prejudice because that was part of my bean dive two years ago, but now the online stuff's become uh, discontinued for that. It's around here somewhere. Uh, put the phone away. Um, 
Yeah, I'm playing this really. Uh, that's about it. Gonna start. <coughs> uh, Black Ops, well, Black Ops 2 DLC. I think Dazzler's gonna jump in on that as well. Uh, but when I started this. Because I'd done all the, literally all the online achievements for the 360 version. Everything unlocked on this version, so I've not even had to touch the multiplayer. Not that I would have minded, but if all the achievements are going to unlock for it, screw it. Save me some time. i got shitloads of uh, other games to play anyway, you know what I mean? You got an all white dude that don't belong to you. Michael, you in here, man? Hey, what it got you, man? The man is alive. Yo, you got the wrong guy here. Michael, go. Where you at? Michael. Yeah, so next on the hit list, uh, Black Ops 2 on 360. Uh, hydro. No, not Hydrophobia. Hybrid after uh, Section 8 for the arcade. And then Watch Dogs uh, after this on the 1. The thing is, I've still got to play an Xbox One title. It's like exclusive. You know what I mean? Because the only Xbox One games I've played so far have been like ported, no, not ported games, so to speak, but have been available on other um, on, on 360. So like Titanfall, that was already out on the 360. Battlefield 4, um, this, uh, Watch Dogs, Trials, Fusion, or whichever one it was. I'm, I've got that on my list as well. So even though Final Fantasy will still be the first game I've played for Xbox One that's not out on 360 originally. That game was uh, came out on the PS Vita, you know what I mean? So I don't know how to get you down, homie. Well, well have you been playing uh, Desro? Smash Titanfall, obviously. But I don't know. Um, I can't fucking see him. That might be going too far back, though. That's it, man. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, a few people playing that shit. I haven't really checked that out to be honest with you. Not my kind of cup of tea. Come on, come on, let's go. This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you here. Fuck, they're coming after us. I'll lose them, okay? Back up, you assholes. Shit. Give me another minute, dog. I'll shake these dudes. Where's my car up? There it is. We going. You ain't gonna stop us. I was gonna say it didn't kill me. Come on, come on, let's go. This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm gonna get you. Here. Disappeared hey, now, ain't it? Pick up a tail, shit. Don't worry, dog. Oops, we eh. drop. Turn around, you tricks! Fuck! Fuck indeed! Franklin, baby, I can't thank you enough. It's nothing. It's what friends do. Yeah, not all friends. From what I heard, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, you heard right. Fucking Trevor. Guy freaks the fuck out on me. We're up there in North Yankton, right? And he goes off on one. He's about to kill me, Franklin. When these Chinese guys show up out of nowhere, then he runs, and the next thing I know, I'm back in Los Santos on a fucking meat hook. Well, you off the hook now? Yeah, thanks to you. Say, how'd you find me anyway? Did my family look for me? Nah, bro. I think... I think they still away. Me and Lester thought something was up. Then I spoke to Trevor, and he said the Chinese had me. Trevor told you? Shit, not willingly. But yeah, he told me. No fucking figure. Man, he's angry at your ass. Way more than the normal middle-aged shit that y'all do. Yeah, well, if he wants to have it out, Franklin, I got news for you. He knows where to fucking find me. I saved your ass so you could kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, bud. You're all right, though. You got that car thing in the meantime. Actually, I don't got the car thing. We got the last ride and Devin Weston stung us on the fucking pay. He putting it in an investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? Hey, look. An investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the film school. We wait to see how that plays out. And then we talk to him about your payment. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus, I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. Let me just adjust for a while. I'll come up with a plan. Yeah, whatever, man. All right, then. I'll see you. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fed, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. And you just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. 
We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Hmm. Car up, man. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Save shit. What did you think of Hardline, Desro? I've still not even picked it up yet. It was going to be a treat, a payday treat, but I don't know, man. From I mean, people are saying it's good, it's fun, but it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I think it sounds fun for what it is, just not. The next kind of battlefield that I'm gonna invest years in. You know what I mean? Why does he have to get in a different car, man? What was wrong with mine? I hate that. I'm only a 
paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. A rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. You know, bum me or something. Can't remember what happens at this store line. Oh, there's my car. <laughs> Man, my stream is behind. It's 20 seconds or something. <laughs> Come in! Come in! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. 
Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't? We're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, <laughs> we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. You know, we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. He should be coming out here soon. Something's coming. That's not it. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? This is not the car we're looking for. So what do we do? Now what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Here we go. Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? Uh, another guy. There she is. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths.
So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance packet. I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Hi. Hello. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only one... Sleep. Um, what else we doing? He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry. Look, um, I'm busy. Only one she needs something. Jesus. Got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. You fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office.
That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. What's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. So I'm going to need paper copies. You know, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Man, I'll wrap it up after this one, man. Dying. Ready for bed.
but... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. What's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, st stuff? No, oh, no, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows. There they are, outside. Fabian too. Oh, what a treat. Let's walk up and be civil. Oh, Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Ah, ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want to... I'm meaning to say to you, but I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation Did someone say Shut up! Uh, i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you fine
All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. Ufa, you're driving us both crazy. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic? So, you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Ugh. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Oh. Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking psycho. Ah. Ow. Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. Papa Bear. What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I, I would have brought a camera crew. Uh, Please don't tattoo a cock. I, uh, don't move. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, oh. There we go. Oh, Nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash oh. you over the head with it. Oh, too nice oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions! No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey! You're gonna put her on your show and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle- Just do it! <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So... I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. If there's ever a family that needs therapy, <laughs> my pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. 
Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh, yeah, like, pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the beam machine baddie. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't, like, actually rob a liquor store. That might, like, kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's <laughs> really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? 
Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That would cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or Dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor? There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers. Or other women. Yeah, Dad! Gross! You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. <laughs> Mary, I'm not like. Who's Mary on? Well, we'll drive back to the crib and uh, save game. Oh, why is it switched to Mozzie flashing? <sighs> oh. Franklin, man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Walked myself into another mission when I said I was going to call it a night. Never mind. <laughs> Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. 
The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Activate then, shit. Bow down. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So you can plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. 
You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> so you do want a mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Keep it cheap. I like Packy McGreevy, though. Legend. But we'll go with Daryl Johns. Seems we don't need to Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Oh, more of him. Keep it cheap. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Okay, that all look good to you. You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> Hey, what's it gonna be, Em? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. Eddie, man, hit me up in the chat if you're uh, no, uh, watching this. I'm still looking into that union. Don't be shy, man. That's how, that's how we interact. That's how we keep the uh, stream bubbling. But no one's in chat. I ain't really got much to say because I don't know who's watching. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> as long as he can't do it without us. I'm tired anyway, man. I'm gonna wrap it up in like. Whenever this mission finishes, or whenever I can save. <sighs> I'm supposed to get it with kids tomorrow. I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's head home and save game. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Okay, that's it. Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Okay, that's a no to helping the in game daughter, can I? Fuck, you know, man. I'm never gonna get to bed. <laughs> Could have said no, but you know.
those who have children will understand. Getting your car. Let's see if we can find him. Daddy. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Passing out drunk in front of old movies, screaming at boys I'm dating, freaking out when a cop car drives past. Yeah, Is he here? I got stuck in Puro Heights, no, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at on, the expo. Hey, man, People up? want to meet you after that video on Fame or Shame? Right yeah, now. yeah, the videos. Ah, well, now you just gotta find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> we found this brick? Not yet. Okay, oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Hey, ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on to you! Let's go! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! Was that stuck? Yes. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need help. Oh no, you fucker! Get him! Don't kill me for loving her. That ain't love. It's the internet. You're a cyber creep. I fucking missed him again. Go anywhere. Try not to kill this guy. Fast as fuck. I don't think it does that kind of range. <coughs> she best bring the car and pick me up. <coughs> I can't believe I'm going to this extent just to not kill this guy. He's proper fast as fuck. Oh, you prick. I learned my lesson. Good fun Crazy ass town. I'm your boy. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> 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 I 
So is he actually dead now? You know what I mean? If I try and keep it physical, is he dead or is he actually just knocked out? I think it just classes dead, any. I just didn't want to, you know, shoot him. Just give him a few slaps. I'm back. What happened, Daddy? Guy had an accident. I'm sorry. I can't believe you did that. What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. We've dealt with that crazy. You don't have to drive like a maniac. I'm a little keyed up, okay? I need to wind down. Maybe speeding and hitting people and swerving all over the place isn't the best way to relax. Just saying, hashtag. Maybe it's the quickest way to get somewhere where I can relax. Where? The grave? Death row? I know what I'm doing, baby. Just calm down. I think you're the one who needs to calm down, you maniac. No wonder I need medicating. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. <laughs> I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Everyone's a winner. Oh, family! I'm home! I'm going to bed. <laughs> Alright, uh, Mom. I am out of here. Shortly. Uh, Alright, cheers for watching Des Roll. You probably catch me uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm streaming for. True achievements. A bit of Xbox 360 action. So, uh, uh, I'll catch you on the True Achievements channel if you're around. And uh, cheers to whoever else was watching. Till next time.